Welcome everybody to this morning's edition of Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. Uh, on today's program, we're going to keep deep diving into our look at, our, at some of our great championship matches, titles changing hands, all that good stuff. Uh, today, we're going to show you one match and one match only, and man, is it a huge, huge match. The Rock and Roll Express challenging the family the Bo of Bo James and the Mega Destroyer at Super Saturday Night Fever in Jackson, Kentucky for the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Tag Team Championships. This marked the first time the Rock and Roll Express had been in, East in the Eastern Kentucky area in 15, 20 years. And they were, they were back in town to do one thing and one thing only, and that's win the AMW Tag Team Championships. So we're going to show you that. Also remind everybody that tomorrow night, part seven and eight, the last parts of John Noble 1090 will air exclusively on the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Network. If you've not had a chance to sign up, please do so today. Parts one through six are already streaming. And if you sign up today and you're a new subscriber, you get a 30 day free trial money back guarantee. If you don't like what you see, but I guarantee you will. It's only $4.99 a month after that and that's cheaper than any value meal you can find right now. So right now, let's take a quick look at what's on tap for John Noble 1090 tomorrow night. We'll give you a quick little preview. Then we're going to take you out to Jackson, Kentucky, Super Saturday Night Fever, Rock and Roll Express, WWE Hall of Famers, taking on the family of Bo James and the Mega Destroyer, accompanied by Lemon Juice McGee. At first, let's look at John Noble 1090. John, after the casket match, you were unable to defend your title for 30 days. Scott Diamond stripped you of the title. Yeah, that was uh, that was one of those times. You know, I'd, I'd been on a really good roll. Um, we went in and had the casket match, and I was facing Michael Jameson, who was the head of the Reformation. At this point, I'd already ran every, every other member of the Reformation out of, out of the territory. Um, so it was me with Michael Jameson and and his manager at the, the head of the Reformation at that time. Um, we had the casket match um, towards the end. Manager got involved. I popped the manager because that's what we do. We're wrestlers, we're men. You know, that's what we do. And as a result, I end up with an EPO filed on me, which keeps me from being at the events for 30 days. Um, right as that EPO is up, you know, because of champion, you only have 30 days to defend the belt. Right as that's up, you know, I'm in a, uh, my truck, I'm in a car wreck. And my truck is totaled, leaving me with some bruised lungs, so not able to make an event. So when you put those two things together, it leads to me trying to not being able to fulfill the commitment. You know, not be able to defend that belt in the 30-day span. I actually tried to show up with the bruised lungs to perform, but because that had happened with the EPO, I was taken out of the building in cuffs and wasn't allowed to defend the title. And as a result, uh, Scott Diamond stripped me of the belt. his license. He has been licensed by the Kentucky State Athletics Commission. This right here is Sam Theodore Duncan. This right here is a major, major thing happening right before our eyes as John Noble comes in, cleaning house the heat seekers. John Noble is on fire. This guy is, he is beside himself. Meaning of the mind's coming out. Sigmund, Elliot, John, fans, they're right. John, you're not on this contract, so you were ineligible in that match. So therefore, I have to disqualify Ryan Dukey because you were not the legal man. So gentlemen, according to this contract, I... I, 
I will have an investigation on that, John. We will do an investigation on, on Marty being attacked in the back. But at this time, I have to ask James, I need those tag team titles. John Noble was not the legal man, so therefore he is ineligible. Your tag team champions are the Heat Seekers. I need those belts, referee. John, I'm sorry you were ineligible. You were not on the contract. I will do an investigation on what happened to Marty, but at this time, I have to give the tag team championships back to the Heat Seekers because John, you were an uneligible participant. I'm sorry. It states right here in the contract. You weren't on it. I do believe you. That's why I will have a full-scale investigation on what happened. But as much as I hate to do it, you were unelible, John. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, we heard it first here from Scott Diamond. It appears that John Noble was, in fact, ineligible for that match, even though he is eligible to wrestle which in itself, even though they did not catch gold tonight, that is fantastic news for the AMW fans and future episodes of AMW television. John Noble will be back. I can promise you that. I've known John Noble now for quite a few years, and of all the times I've ever seen him in the ring or, or in the back, he's one of those guys that has the energy I've always wanted to have as well. And John and I, little known fact, are actually cousins and he came to Knoxville to help me out a few times in the wrestling business and and I felt secure in the fact that not only was John Noble a tremendous athlete wrestler and coach he was that guy with the extra added benefit of having the fire behind him the passion in his bones and and every time he stepped into the ring I knew it was going to be an unforgettable night, not only for me, but for our opponents. John Noble's a man I'm proud to say not only I know, but as part of my extended wrestling family, my cousin, if you will. He's always been a special guy to me, and I, uh, I hope that he gets everything he wants in life, because you deserve it, John. Wrestling fans, now the very best wrestling action in the Southeast is at your fingertips. That's right, the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Network is live and online. See the very best wrestlers today competing in traditional hard-hitting action straight into your living room. See legends of the ring like the Rock and Roll Express, Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant, Al Snow, Scott Hall, AJ Styles, and many more. Over 125 hours. For only $4.99 a month. Yes, it's $4.99 a month. But wait, if you sign up right now, you get a week absolutely free. See the very best from the Southeast and from other promotions all around the world. Go to www amwwrestlingnetwork.com today. Get your free trial and help make wrestling great again. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow, the wrestling.
Rock and Roll Express taking on the family for the AMW Tag Team Gold. The crowd is wild. They're chanting Rock and Roll, Rock and Roll. And could they come through with the big win tonight? The family, they have had a tight grip on those tag team titles. Team, tag team championship belts as they've come in, but there's no longer as tightly knit as they used to be, folks. Things have been boiling over. Can Bo James, can the Mega Destroyer, can Lemon Juice McGee, can they all get on the same page tonight? Because if not, we're gonna leave here with new tag team champions, the Rock and Roll Express. They've held the gold everywhere. Everywhere they've went, folks, the bell is rung and we are ready to rock, Robert Gibson standing across the ring from the Mega Destroyer. What will come of this huge marquee matchup here at Super Saturday Night Fever, Jackson, Kentucky? They circle each other. Bo James trying to get involved with the head games. He and Lemon Juice McGee talking to Mega Destroyer now. Do not underestimate these guys, Rob. Do not underestimate. It's Ricky playing some games of his own. And they lock horns. Mega Destroyer taking Robert back into the ropes, but I'm pretty sure he grabbed him by the hair, folks. at it again, standing across from each other. And there it is, just barely a couple minutes into this matchup, if that. And there's already been some miscommunication amongst the family. Family, really, they need to get it together. Bo James urging Mega Destroyer to pay attention to Robert here in the ring. If these guys turn their attention to each other and not to the Rock and Roll Express, we will have new tag team champions. The dictionary defines hero as a person who is admired or idealized for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. Being a hero in life is far more than words printed on a page. It takes an unwavering code, a compass that points true north always. And in times like these, it takes sacrifice. Hero shouldn't be a word defined by a dictionary. It's a word that should be defined by the best of us. Hero has a new definition. Are you a member of a church group? Are you a member of a sports team, local school, volunteer fire department, or any other nonprofit? Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling for a fundraiser to bring money to your organization. Have some fun, a night of professional wrestling. Fun for the entire family. Earn some money. Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling and help make wrestling great. In Jackson, Kentucky, they lock once again. And Bo James has got Robert. And once again, folks. The Rock and Roll Express just seem to have one up on the family who can't get it together right now. Is this going to pan out? Folks, I don't know if these guys can keep it together long enough to win a match against the Hall of Famers, but they have won. Every time they have 
went into those, went into the ring, went through those ropes with those titles. They have left with the championship belts. No one has been able to take it from them. But could the Hall of Famers, the tag champs, the world's tag champs, could they become Appalachian Mountain Wrestling's tag team champions here tonight? Ricky tagged in. We will see Ricky Morton in action against Bo James, and I'm telling you folks, these guys know each other well. A lot of miles in the ring between these two men, a lot of miles on those boots, and it all comes to a head here. Super Saturday Night Fever, Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. The crowd, the chance of rock and roll. They've traveled these roads before. These people know their name. And Ricky Morton using the agility against Bo James. Mega Destroyer back in the ring. Nearly clocks Bo James. Nearly gets him again. And now Bo James hits the Mega Destroyer. Once again, the family doing more damage internally. and Robert barely, barely broken a sweat here at Super Saturday Night Fever. And Ricky comes, sends lemon juice flying, knocks some heads together. Side headlock applied by Robert Gibson. Bo James tugging on the hair, I saw it. And Mega Destroyer grabs him, and Bo James with the kick to the Mega Destroyer. I don't know how much more the family can take of this. Juice just looks stunned. Mega Destroyer, his client out here with him and Bo James. He and Lemon Juice have had a tumultuous pass to say the least. But they've got to overcome it tonight if they want to leave still the AMW Tag Team Champions. And they will have to do it with chance of rock and roll throughout the night. The crowd firmly behind the Rock and Roll Express. They want them to wear that gold. Ricky and Bo lock horns. Morton stomping on the foot in the, on the offensive right now. Irish whip, Bo James reverses it. Morton sent to the corner, a big clothesline from Bo James. Gibson comes out, he's got to keep his cool, and Bo James hitting Morton Willie's down with the closed fist. Ref back turned. Ref comes around, he opts for the chops, but now the Mega Destroyer and Lemon Juice involved. Oh, and the Great fingers right in the eyes of Morton against the ropes. Ref sees it, stops him. Elbow from the Mega Destroyer. Bo tags him in. 
the family now working like a well-oiled machine after a little bit of miscommunication early on. And they have Ricky Morton just struggling in the middle of the ring. And here comes Lemon Juice again, choking Morton against the ropes. Robert Gibson helpless to save his partner. Snapmare takedown. Straight in to the submission attempt here. Gibson trying to get through, but he's got to He's got to wait his turn. Ricky has to tag him in here. Ricky up to a knee. One of the greatest tag teams, maybe the greatest tag team to ever lace up their boots. But right now they are the number one contenders and the champions standing tough right now. Morton on the ground trying to find a second win, trying to get up. Got to get that tag. The crowd is chanting. They know Robert Gibson needs into this match if the rock and roll have to stay alive. But Ricky fighting back Morton. Morton sitting in the ropes, making sure it comes foot up. Boom, right to the jaw, right to the chin of the Mega Destroyer. Both men down. Lemon Juice McGee on the ropes, referee tells him to get down Morton, has to get to Gibson. Mega Destroyer, getting the ball. He tags him in, there's the roll through. Robert Gibson is in and he is on fire early. Putting the heads together. Gibson, this is his first action in a while. And he means business here on Super Saturday Night Fever. Penny combination here. Folks, that is it! They win it! The Rock and Roll Express are your champs! The family confused, shaking their heads, holding their hands out. And here we are, middle of the ring, the Rock and Roll Express, your Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Hands. The Rock and Roll Express, the second ever Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Tag Team Champions right there beating the family. Um, they went on, and we'll take a look at that match next week to defend the titles in Barberville, Kentucky against the Heat Seekers. Now, remind everybody, tomorrow night, John Noble 1090, right here on the AMW Wrestling Network. We want to thank everybody who's tuning in on, on the station that you're watching. We're glad to have you tuning in each and every Saturday morning. We'll catch you next week at ringside.